Hey Cats, it's Ed Budd here, back with your weekly dose of running news. Thanks for tuning in Cats, always appreciated. If you're enjoying the channel and you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button or also click the bell below for notifications when I roll out those new videos for you. You can also give the video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. It really helps out. Merci beaucoup. Back with the running news today, story number one. The Bath Half Marathon has once again been postponed here in the UK. I think the event was supposed to run in May, and I think it's about the fourth time now it's been postponed. I'm not entirely sure which Bath Half Marathon it is anymore. Like 2020, 2021, I don't know. The organisers have once again pulled the plug, stating that the 29th of May date was not possible due to staff absence, lack of suppliers, and closure of the Cleveland Bridge which formed part of the route, I think, or at least the re-route, I don't know. The mystery deepens, though, as the local council have said that it's absolutely nothing to do with them. They assumed it was all going to happen. They've been taken by surprise a little bit, I think. It's the Bath and North East Somerset Council. Somerset seems to be segmented up into all these different bits, and they're all quite different. They saw no reason as to why the event shouldn't take place. There were route changes that have been agreed, along with a different starting point as well. I think the proposed rescheduled date for the Bath Half Marathon is October 16th, but apparently the council haven't agreed that. They were seemingly unaware that that was a date that had been coined for the rerun of this event. The organisers have suggested that it's all done and dusted, so we'll see. I think they're actually still selling places for the Bath Half Marathon 2023. Of course, the October 16th date is very close to the London Marathon. That's on the 2nd of October, and quite a few people, I would imagine, have entered into that or have got places for that. I would assume they will pass on this rescheduled date. It's just too close, isn't it, to the London Marathon. You're going to be pretty tuckered out after that one. Sad for those who have places for this event. Hope they manage to run it later in the year or next year or whenever. Does look like a good one actually, quite a flat half marathon, but yeah. Not for me right now. If this Bath half marathon cancellation has affected you, let me know down in the comments. Story 2. Asics and Zwift are joining forces, offering more interaction to those treadmill runners in 2022. This collaboration will see an ASICS running experience appearing on the Zwift platform. That could be in the form of digital shoes and even physical ones may be up for grabs as well. Events such as the brilliant ASICS World Ekiden will appear in a virtual form on the platform from now on and special digital only events for Swift users will appear too. ASICS elite athletes will be able to lead some sessions for Zwift users and of course your avatar can get some of those beautiful looking ASICS shoes that we've seen recently. I mean, just look at that one. It really is something. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a Zoom ice lolly. I've always fancied a pair of those Kensai Blast shoes from ASICS. They look absolutely fantastic. Maybe I could wear them in the virtual world. I think Mrs. Edbird would not be pleased at another frivolous shoe purchase. Fear not, old bean. Just boot up Zwift and get them on your feet. I jest, but integration here is really exciting, especially from that event point of view. Is to another ASICS World Ekaden in 2022. I'll have to get the old team back together. Are you a Zwift user? I have never used it, I've got to be honest. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down below. Story 3. We're sticking with ASICS here. There's so many things going on with them recently. Loads of new shoes, very exciting. Some pictures of the forthcoming ASICS Magic Speed 2 have surfaced. Slightly higher res images and we can pick out a few very important details here. It's quite a few things I hope that ASICS would change about the current lineup of shoes in the forthcoming one. And it looks like they've done it. The shoe is now looking more like a maximised Metaspeed Sky. Quite a bit more foam underfoot than the original Magic Speed. And of course we're treated to Flight Foam Blast Plus underfoot. Same as we have in the Gel Nimbus 24. So a more forgiving ride perhaps is on the cards. That odd midsole sidewall is also there as per the Metaspeed Sky. Makes the forefoot and the heel stack look practically the same, but we know that they're not. The big change though here is in the outsole with the rubber stretching round a hell of a lot further back into the heel. I predicted that very change for the Metaspeed Sky 2. Let's hope they do implement that in that race version of the shoe. This clearly makes the Magic Speed 2 the Nike Zoom Fly of the A6 lineup. A more durable yet fast paced tempo trainer. Absolutely cannot wait to try these out, cats. Are you excited for the new updates in the A6 lineup? Let me know below. Story 4. 
you cats may remember a video some time back where I talked about a really exciting new running shoe brand, Vimazi. It looks as if their shoes are set to come out soon. They've had a few production issues, hasn't everybody, but it looks like we could be treated to a few models in the next couple of months. I'm very excited to see more information coming out from my buddies over at Vimazi with their new initial model set to launch very soon. The Vimazi ethos is spaced in something that is really important to me right now in running shoes, where you've got kind of these foam implementations, but they work for some people and not others. Well, that's a problem that they've got a solution for. We all run at different paces, don't we? Not everybody runs the same sorts of paces. My easy pace is someone's half marathon pace or something. So like my top line pace would be like an elite level sort of easy run. As we run at those different paces, we generate different forces on our foot strike and toe off. The Vamazi line of shoes are set to use different tuned pods in the heel and forefoot with specific softness depending on your speed. Two vastly different forces need different levels of softness and cushion. As such, there'll be a wide range of models available to cater for everyone's needs. There is the 220 for the higher speeds, 4 minutes 30 seconds per mile through to about 5 minutes 30 seconds per mile to something like the 240, which is probably tuned to me, really. My racing speeds go between about 6 minutes 15 seconds per mile and 7 minutes 45 seconds per mile. They're set to launch for $169.95, that's dollars. So if you're talking about UK Earth credits, I guess it's going to be somewhere around about 130 maybe. That's a rough conversion, so it might be different. I'm sure the guys will let us know in the comments. I can't wait to try these out. Imagine like a Adios 6, but more tuned to the specific runner. It's almost like a custom shot Fender or Gibson guitar. Absolutely can't wait to try these out, John. That's all the stories for this week's running news. If you do spot something interesting over the course of your running meanderings, let me know via the email that's in the description of this video. More next week, cats. Musical interlude time. We're heading back to 2001 in the time machine today for the Von Bondies with lack of communication. It's a wonderful racket, this one. I was lucky enough to see the white stripes around this period and the Von Bondies were their support band. Lots of fuzz on the guitars and general chaos is what you want in rock and roll. You don't want it to be too sort of clean and precise. It came from Japan, has some wonderful, almost psychedelic vibes about it grimy, grungy and undulating guitars. The singer almost sounds upset, you know, sort of beside himself on the track going down. And there's an almost surfy, mysterious vibe on the end track to the album Sound of Terror. I think the band only released a couple of albums. I've got both of them and they're fantastic. Go and check them out if you've never heard of them before. You're in for a treat. The Von Bondies with lack of communication. Right, it's time for me to rock and roll out of here. Thanks for tuning in and sticking with me to the very end of today's video. It is always appreciated. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell below for notifications. Give this video a thumbs up, like and share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Budd and I'll be seeing you 